In this video, I will show you how quickly you can build, distribute, and collect the results of a test with Test Moz. Let's make a simple test about world geography. And if you're not a school teacher, you can just imagine this is a new employee training test for your business or something of that nature. I'm logged into my account and I'm just going to create a new test called World Geography. The dashboard here just has a list of the actions you need to take. Let's first review the test settings. In many cases, the default settings are fine for your test. You don't even have to adjust them. But let's tweak a few things to show off test moz. I'll throw some introduction text in here. We'll just use the default theme and language. Let's show all the questions on one page, and we won't randomize the test questions. When the student is done with the test, let's just say, thanks for taking the test, and we will show a message if they got 90% or better. We'll also reveal their score and an outline of the test, which will include their responses, but we won't show the correct answer or explanations yet. For access control, let's pretend I'm a teacher and all my students have school email accounts. I could just enter a list of their email addresses here, but TestMoz also lets me use a wildcard. So I'll just plug in star at jleeschool.org. Then anyone with an email address that ends with jleeschool.org will be allowed to take the test. We need to tell the students to identify themselves with their email address, so we'll type that in here. Please enter your school email address. I don't want to receive email notifications for this test, so I'll turn that off. After we save our settings for the first time, TestMoz will take us to the questions page. TestMoz has a really powerful question builder, but I won't show you all the features in this video. First, let's make a multiple choice question. Notice how easily I can add answer choices. I don't have to use the mouse at all. I can just hit the tab key. I need to check the right answer and I'm going to click the shuffle icon so the answers are randomized. Let's add a fill in the blank question. Seven is the correct answer, but I'm going to provide an alternative answer of the text seven, just in case one of my students wants to be verbose. We'll add an explanation to this question that reveals the seven continents. Let's add a choose many question too. I'm going to clone the multiple choice question we already have and change it to choose many. I need to make sure I select all the possible answer choices and I will allow partial credit for this question. Let's make it worth three points. Now let's make a question pool with questions about country capitals. I made an Excel spreadsheet with 25 questions in it, and we can quickly import that with TestMoz. I'll insert a question pool using the menu at the bottom of the screen. I could just drag and drop questions into the pool like so, but I'm going to import the questions from a file instead. So let's undo that. From the menu, I select questions from file. I choose my file, verify it looks good, and voila, my questions are imported into the pool. I need to adjust the pool settings. Let's show five questions from this pool at a time. This means that of these 25 questions, when the student takes the test, they will see five randomly selected from this pool. I have another test in my account that has some questions about South America. TestMoz automatically indexes all my questions so I can pull them from other tests easily. I'll search for South America and I get back a bunch of questions. Let's take these two. And finally, let's throw an ungraded data collection question into the mix. This question isn't worth any points and doesn't contribute to the score. Let's publish this test and take it ourselves. We could preview it first, but I'm going to skip that. And while we're here, this is where you can print a hard copy of the test and the answer key. When we publish, we are given a URL that we can email out to our students or post on our class website or deliver however we choose. I'm going to open up a separate window to pretend I'm a student and I'll just go to that URL. I have to enter in my school email address to log in. TestMoz will send me an email to confirm my identity, 
then I can begin the test. Let's answer these quickly and get our results. Notice how TestMoz is not revealing the correct answer. We could easily turn that on, but we chose not to in the test settings. Now let's see what you, as the administrator of the test, can see. I took the liberty of taking this test a few times with different email accounts, so I'll have some results to play with. Back in the TestMoz admin area, we can click the results tab for this test. There is also a global results page which shows you the results across all the tests in your account, but again we just want to see the results for this particular test. At a glance we can see some basic test statistics and all the results. You can even see the question level details all at once. No other testing application can show this much data on a single page. It's unique to TestMoz. We can easily see which questions were most difficult by looking at the percentage for each question. We can place our mouse over each icon to see what the student's individual answer was. We can dive into a particular student's results, adjust their score, and leave feedback for them. When everyone has completed the test and we want to reveal all the answers to them, we can go back to our test settings page and check these boxes. Then back on the results page, we can select all and email the results to the students. It's really that easy. TestMoz has far more capabilities, but I hope this video shows how easy it is to conduct a complete test with TestMoz.